Today we're going to be looking at how to do a mail merge. Uh, it's going to be actually using both Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. I guess the, the, the purpose of this is that at some point in your life you're likely to have to send the same letter to a lot of different people. Um, I had this experience just this last year uh, doing some fundraising for our mission trip. You know, We sent a letter to a bunch of our friends and relatives asking them to support us. Um, but you could use it in a, certainly in a business situation. You can imagine having a client list of three, four, five hundred and needing to send the same letter to all of them. Uh, you might use it in a family situation for uh, Christmas letters. So, you know, you want to send out a letter with your Christmas card saying how the family's doing. But you want to personalize it a little, a little bit. Um, so right here I've got open on the desktop here a, this is actually a sample letter that we used uh, for the fundraising trip and you know if I were to do this for each person so my first person is um, John Smith I would type his name in I'd type in his address 123 Main Street uh, Grand Rapids Michigan 49506 and then I would say dear John Perfect. I've got this letter. I'd hit print. I'd print one copy and then I'd go, all right, now my next one is to Ann. So Ann, and I have to retype in this name, Ann, um, I need a last name, Ann Yonker. And she lives at 451, or 452, whoops, 452 Belmont. Uh, road in Rockford. And he, the reason I'm doing this, and you'll see, 49341. Anyway, it takes a long time for me to re enter each person's address, um, and then I can print one off, and then I got to go back and re enter one more. And it, it really is a inefficient use of my time. It'd be a lot better if I had a list of all my contacts oh look a list of all my contacts in an Excel spreadsheet and then if I could get the computer to actually draw all of these names right into my letter all these names and addresses so for this assignment I'm asking you to create first a spreadsheet with um, at least five ficti uh, fictitious names and addresses and make sure you put them in you know nice columns with first name, last name, address, city, state, zip. Um, the reason you want to do this is that it, it kind of needs that in order to be able to uh, pull things in correctly. Um, and, and if we have an issue, I can, I can explain how that works as well. Um, but if you've got these in the nice columns, it should work flawlessly, seamlessly with Microsoft Word. So back here, instead of typing in each address, I'm going to delete that. And like I said, there's two ways for me to do this. Uh, the first way, we're going to go up to the Mailings tab, click Start a mer Mail Merge, and I can do a step-by-step -step mail merge. Uh, that will open up this window on the right side of my screen, and it will ask me to step-by-step -step go through this. The first one asking what type of document am I working on. Well, in this case, I'm doing a letter but I could do the same thing for envelopes, labels, a directory, or email messages. Uh, second step then is select a starting document. I could start, if I was starting from scratch, I could use a template. Um, I'm just going to use the current document because that's what I've got. Um, I'm going to select recipients and I'm going to use an existing list because I already have that saved. So I have to browse and find that list mine happens to be share, saved in my share drive under the name addresses I'm clever that way so I'm gonna double click that um, the addresses are all located in sheet one so that's fine I'm gonna click OK and notice how it pulls in all the information for me here's Bob Smith uh, Joe Schmo, Barb Van Hoff, Jill Jordan, Jake Kennedy, just 
as they were in my Excel spreadsheet. So I click OK. I've got that list. Now I'm going to go to the next step, which is write your letter. This is where you would write your letter. Uh, for this assignment, you don't have to write a letter. You can find a letter. You could make up a funny letter of your own. It doesn't have to be terribly long. Just make it at least a good paragraph or so. Um, so it looks nice. But like I said, you can copy and paste an example letter if you want from the internet. It doesn't matter a whole lot to me. Uh, the first thing that I want to put on this is that address block. So I'll do an address block. And notice I get a whole lot of choices. Do I want to insert that postal address or not? Um, do I want to do just first name? And notice over on the right it's showing me what the previewing for me, what the entries are going to look like. So if I had a column that included junior or not junior, um, I might have a column that would include middle initials. I don't in my spreadsheet, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but theoretically, you could be getting a list from Microsoft Outlook or from your email, whatever email you have, and it might pull in some of this extra information. All right, so I click OK because I want first and last name, and it gives me this little address block with uh, carrots around it, and that's exactly what I want. I also want a greeting line. So I'm going to add this, and I could change my, I could say two, I could type in my own thing. Dear works fine for me, so I'll leave that there. Um, and then the way that I want the name to show. Notice right now it's, again, doing first name, last name, and any juniors. Um, I could have it doing it as Mr. or Mrs. if somehow I had indicated whether they were male or female. Um, I could do, I like this one down, where did it go? Oh, maybe it's not there. Um, anyway, I can do the, ignore the previous thing I said there. I can do the first name, I can do, it will um, give nicknames if you want, but I'm just going to do the first name and notice it does Dear Bob for Dear Joe, Dear Bob, or Dear Jill for each of my recipients. I hit OK. Um, I'm going to put another line in there, and the next step then is to preview my letters. And notice for recipient 5, it's got his name and address, Jill, etc., etc. Um, one other thing I wanted to show, and this would work well in this sentence here. It says, grace and peace to you. And then I might want to say, grace and peace to you, comma, and put that per person's name in there. Well, rather than typing it out again, I'm going to go back to my previous step and notice I can add more items. So I could add, like, their first name. And I'm going to insert that right there. And when I go back to preview, now you see Bob Smith, dear Bob, grace and peace to you, Bob. And if I change recipients, it'll change that first name as well. So just a few ways you can personalize the letters, but without having to retype a whole letter. And when I go to that final step of completing the merge, I could hit print, and uh, it will print off, in this case, five different letters with five different people's names in there. Now, I'm going to close this, not save changes, and start over. Um, because I wanted to show you just the other way. The, the wizard is nice. It definitely gives you the step-by-step. -step. Um, the other way to do it, though, would be just to, it's slightly more direct. We go start, uh, sorry, not start a mail merge. We have to select our recipients first. And again, I'm going to use an existing list. So I go find my list, just as I did before. Um, now notice that I have these options. I can insert things in there. So I can insert an address block. And I get the same uh, screen that I did before. Um, and I can insert a greeting line. And again, I can change it to just a first name or whatever I want. Um, and again, if I wanted to insert a different and grace and peace to you, comma, and then their name, I can go insert merge field. So I can choose any one of those fields, and I'm going to do a, a first name in there. And then if I want to view that, I can go up to preview results and flip through each of my different 
recipients. And if I want to print that, I go to Finish and Merge, and I can print all those documents. And it'll print five copies for me. For this assignment, you are not going to print this off. You are going to save it just like this, as is. You're going to save it and upload it to Moodle. And then you are also going to upload your Excel spreadsheet. Uh, in this case, you can Excel, uh, upload two items. Um, so just upload them one at a time, just like you would normally. 